because you're going to love this. Our next guest is a celebrity chef who knows a thing or two about throwing a big fancy pants party, whether it's New Year's or any other time of the year. And he's here with the perfect appetizers for your New Year's Eve party. Welcome back, our good friend, Chef Wayne Elias. <laughs> So I'm not even exaggerating little when I say you know a thing or two about throwing a fancy pants party because for the last 16 years, 16, 16 okay. going on 17, you have been throwing the biggest party in Hollywood for the Oscars for Mr. Elton John, Sir Elton John, oh. excuse me. And New Year's Eve is really no different for you, is it? No, it's still busy. And, uh, and before I do the Elton John party this year or next year, yes. I'm going to have the honor of working for the Steve Tyler Foundation. Oh, he does. oh wow. wow. He's now doing a Grammy viewing party. Oh, and my goodness. And it's to benefit Janie's Fund, which helps victims of sex abuse under age and to heal them. Oh, my gosh. That's wonderful. Right. Now, tell me that's not the same night as the Elton John party. Two weeks prior. Oh, okay. Two weeks. Because you're going to be so I have a little break. <laughs> well, you know what? We should probably get started because you probably have a lot of stuff <laughs> to prepare for that. So we're going to do three different appetizers today. Larissa finally made her way yes. over to the finally. counter. You guys dig in. You have them all there. Enjoy. One of them includes filet mignon the yeah. other one includes shrimp but my very favorite can i tell them includes yes. um a secret ingredient which is no longer a secret captain crunch we are going to get what? to that in just a moment you're eating something did you with say cereal it. yes i did <laughs> let's start with the filet mignon what okay. are we doing so we're going to do a filet mignon with a mustard raspberry butter okay on a crouton a brioche crouton now at home mm. it's very simple to prepare but let's say you don't have a cutter okay to cut the bread so I divide. So one day I was in my own house and I didn't have anything. So I was looking around for something that would kind of work. So I found a shot glass. <laughs> oh Love that. In between taking a shot. Look at this. And if you do a little um, spray on it, which will help, you can easily cut oh, it. Oh, that is so that clever. Is brilliant. That's a great party. Talk about DIY. Oh my gosh, it's like a mini biscuit. So <laughs> and it's about the size for an hors d'oeuvre that you would want. And then you would place it. Oops. And then you can always trim it if it's not. Sure. Even. You can always trim it, and then you place it on the baking That's pan. That's brilliant. And cook See? them regular, and you like cook you would. Cook them regular, eight like to ten crouton. minutes on three twenty-five. Okay. And then they become these beautiful croutons. Adorable. Right mm. All right. So. So let's build, shall we? So we have our little croutons. Right. Wait, wait, this oh, is going to be wow. our display. Oh my goodness! Okay, let me put this right? back. No, that's okay. You can bring it over. You're Did good you at this. use a cucumber to as a vase? Yeah. So I took the Whoa. edge, the middle of the cucumber, and hollow it out. And I bought some fresh flowers, and this just Beautiful. gives you yeah, a, little extra, really great. a little extra pump for the. Shirley uh, would be so impressed. Mm -hmm. For a little display, it totally works. It makes it really right. pretty. Okay, so we're going to take our raspberry. Do you want to grab our okay. raspberry mustard butter? And what is in our raspberry butter? So we have a quarter pound of butter. Okay. A quarter cup enough? of mustard. That's perfect. Go ahead. Okay. You're going to do all of them. All right. And then ten raspberries. Okay. Mash it all together. All right. And there you go. That's your butter. That's it. No That's salt, it. no pepper necessary because it is already flavorful with the go. prepared mustard. Okay, let's say you can do, and you can do as many as you want on a tray. So let's say we just squeeze them all on. Oh my gosh, this looks so They're beautiful. They're so good, yeah. Abby. Then we're going to place. And I will say, our you know, filet, which filet mignon is, can sometimes be a little expensive. However, when you're making such tiny you little bites, tiny little piece. Yeah. it still seems There's pretty reasonable, yeah. right? Completely, and it's you are absolutely right. Now we're only using six ounces of filet mignon. Six ounces of filet mignon, you can get about 18 to 20 pieces. Wow. So that's great. it's an appetizer, it's not dinner. And for New Year's Eve, that feels special, filet mignon. It really yeah. does. Absolutely. It's fancy and it's not dinner. Now, if you want to, where's that? You can give me a little, just a little bit of a little dot like that. Oh, okay. And this way you can glue. It's like the glue that keeps the raspberry oh wet on top. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, okay, great. we'll just do one more and we'll move on to our, yeah. our angels on horseback. It's like art class. That's Look cool. at it's that. so pretty. Well, I don't mind. Go ahead. Okay, I feel well. like this is such a testament to like your skill oh, that oh. this seems like a normal combination to you. Mm -hmm. Like I would not, first of all, mustard and raspberry and steak, like right. it is think of putting absolutely that delicious. Right. But and you I mean, never think to put it together. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, just okay. wait till you see his angels on horseback. So yes. how did you come up with this? Okay. This is adorable. <laughs> so who doesn't like bacon? Most people like shrimp unless you have an allergy. Sure. Um, so we take some of our garlic salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, marinate them for maybe about an hour and a half. Okay. Then we wrap them in the bacon. So you can take one piece of bacon, it's gonna be for two pieces. Okay. So we're gonna wrap two more and then we'll put them in the oven. All right. Now when you're wrapping them, so let's do it this way, we're going to wrap them so the, the seal side is down. Do you wanna do one? And sure. One? Okay. okay, what do we do? So we're gonna just, you're just gonna roll it. Okay. But you wanna roll it tight. Oh, roll it tight, I've already messed up. As tight <laughs> as you can, but you want that seal to be on the bottom. So there when you're we cooking go. it, no skewer. 
Oh, no skewer. Not yet. Okay, now we pop it in. Right, we're gonna pop it in the oven. Uh, eight to 10 minutes, 425 degrees. All right. And the reason why. I've never heard of baked shrimp before. Mm -mm. Well, the reason why is we're wrapping it with the bacon. So you want to cook it on high heat because shrimp cooks very fast, bacon cooks longer. Right. So when you cook it on the high heat, you're actually speeding up the cooking of the bacon so it becomes nice and brown and crispy without overcooking the shrimp. Mm. Brilliant. Simple as can be. Okay, so let's pull this out. And then we have a delicious maple glaze Ooh. that we're serving it with. So what's in your delicious maple okay, glaze? Okay, so the, it's a brown sugar lime glaze, very simple to make. Okay. It's um, a half a cup of brown sugar. All right. Quarter cup of fresh lime juice, and you liquefy the brown sugar first, add the lime juice. As soon as it comes to a simmer, you take it off because it thickens naturally. If you add the lime juice from the beginning, it will disintegrate. The, the um, brown sugar will disappear. All oh, right, okay. Wow. Now we're going to plate this. All right, and why angels on horseback? Well, because I just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so much it. better than shrimp but, and bacon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it does. Right, shrimp wrapped in apple with bacon. Okay, that doesn't well, sound like a big deal, right? No, but I love it because look, <laughs> this looks like a little halo. Aww. You see that? Aww. It's like so a little halo. Then there we, you go. But wait, I'm going to show you an easier way to do it is you go oh. straight up like that. Oh, just like that. Right. Oops. There we go. I'm not going to. So lovely. We're going to gla We're going to do our glaze. Okay. We'll drizzle our glaze right on top. I bet that glaze is good on any. Oh. Amazing. The glaze is good on anything. You can do it on chicken. You can do it on pork, duck. Oops. Now, I assume this is best served warm. Correct? Right. The shrimp, definitely warm. The, the filet mignon, room temperature is good. Room temperature so is perfect. accordingly. Okay, now finally, last but not least, oh, yes. you're gonna sprinkle these beautiful flowers on. While I talk about my favorite dish you have ever made, I think, <laughs> in history, and I know you've made some really fancy things. But when you said you're putting Captain Crunch uh -huh. on Chicken nuggets. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. I have a salt. Yep. So they're basically chicken bites covered in Captain Crunch. Yes. With a delicious sweet Thai sauce. But for adults, not for, for five year olds. Well, so good. But everybody's going to enjoy them. Right. So here's so here they are. This is how we display them when we do them. Um, oh. But it's true. Who doesn't like Captain Crunch cereal? It brings you back to when you were growing up. Flour, egg, bread them. You can saute them in a little about a uh, ten inch pan with about half inch filled with uh, vegetable oil and you cook them for about a minute and a half on each side. Take them out, drain them, and you can make them ahead of time so you don't have to make That's them nice. to order when you're entertaining. Okay. So you can be part of the party. And then you reheat them? You can, room temperature, or you can reheat them. Room temperature is fine. So room temperature is totally fine, and then this is store-bought. It's a sweet chili uh, dip that- And you, you condone. Store-bought? So I have I to say, my say, my apartment in LA is down the street from Rockwell Table mm. and Stage, and I love it. Um, what's because it's oh amazing God. entertainment as well as this amazing food. What do you have showing right now? So if you're visiting from out of town for New Year's weekend, Edward Scissorhands is oh. amazing oh, as a musical parody. And on New Year's Eve specifically, we're doing a combination, a mashup of um, Hedwig and Edward Scissorhands together. That's gonna be hysterical. So and we isn't Ariana Grande's brother is the star. Frankie oh, Grande so is there. our star that night, and I love it. How I love fun! It. So, no, but it's also it's also set up where you're having your dinner. And the show's going it's on. Like so old school dinner. So you're like yeah. you're like a part of it. Yeah. It's absolutely intimate lovely. and fun. It's a wonderful supper club. It's all over the room while you're having dinner. It's great. Absolutely Drinks. love it. 